morning. Morning. <laughs> morning. So, it is well, day one, really. Yeah, it's the first <laughs> day at sea. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll have a little walk around the ship later. This one will be bizarre because we know nothing about the ship apart from what we found already. And we're just going to explore as we are new guests on a new ship. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. One thing that I haven't liked. There was no note under the door when we arrived back last night to tell us what's going on around the ship today. So we know that there's something going on with the DJs from Greatest Hits Radio at 11. We don't know who, we don't know where. Yeah, and the app and doesn't the app have doesn't, a lot no. on it. Not, it shows main entertainment, but it doesn't show what's going on around the ship. No. Yeah. Another thing I noticed as well on the pillars, no chocolate. Well, the beds weren't turned down either, no. So the beds weren't turned down. No little chocolate to greet you back to your cabin at no. the end of the night. So that's a slight difference. Yeah. One thing I question as well, you get your cards when you get on, little orange cards. It's got your date of birth on there. Now, with GDPR, you're passing that card over to several hundreds of people probably by the end of the cruise. Mm. Why is your date of birth on there? I, I kind of get it if you're getting drinks, but... I don't think your date of birth should be on your cards. Anyway, I'm probably wrong. No, I don't give a monkeys. They can know whatever they want to me. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> when, you, when you're the GDPR rules. Yeah, I know what you're going on about, but yeah. I just don't care. <laughs> as long as they hand me a drink, I'm not bothered. Anyway. Waffling now. We boogied a lot last night, so we had a bit of a lie-in. Yeah. yeah. I didn't wake up till getting on for nine o'clock. <laughs> nine o'clock. And this is one that gets up before six. Yeah. Regular. So yeah. So we had a good lane, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now me's hungry. Yeah. Breakfast time. <laughs> All right. Let's go. <laughs> ah, start the ways I mean to go on. Good cooked breakfast. There is orange juice as well, but there's no glasses. Mm, okay. <laughs> So what you got? Ham, mushroom, tomato omelette. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Right, I'll see if I can get a coffee book and get some orange juice then. <laughs> yeah. The Greatest Hits Radio Escape to Hamburg and Amsterdam with Ambassador Cruise Line. Please welcome Ken Bruce and Martin Kemp. Thank you. 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 you. There's so many here. It's lovely. Lovely to see you all. Thank you for all your questions. Some of them are going to be easier to answer than others, I think, Martin. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. How's everyone enjoying it so far? Yay! You good? Happy last night? Yes. Don't be hangovers? Yes. <laughs> yeah, me too, yeah. <laughs> well, we'd better go on to the questions. We'll take a seat. And uh, shall I go first, Martin? Will I ask you the first question? Why not? Why not? Okay, uh, we have a question here from Pete. Uh, is Pete here? It's probably about 15 feet here today, so I'm asking that. Uh, Pete's question for you, Martin, is what is your favourite song of the 80s and why? Um, I'm going to be really selfish. <laughs> because it has too many good memories to me. Uh, I'm going to say true. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it was kind of like, um, there's always that special moment when you're in a band. When you, just what, you, what you really want when you're in a band when you start is that number one record. And that's the special thing to get. Um, you, it's, it's something you dream about when you're a kid, being on top of the pops and, and getting that number one record. And I remember the morning we were in Nottingham and uh, I could hear all this commotion going outside and it was probably about seven o'clock in the morning. And obviously I had a hangover, which uh, was par for the course in those days. But um, I could hear people shouting and stuff outside and I looked outside my uh, bedroom door and there was John Keeble, the drummer, being pushed up and down on the, uh, the, on the uh, laundry trolley uh, and I knew that it had gone to number one from that, but yeah, I'm going to have to say true. Right, true, very good answer, we all agree with that, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Tony and Jan say, uh, how did your radio career begin and what music did you grow up with? 
Right. Well, my career began about three years ago when I was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I started out in the seventies. Um, I was in hospital radio, and then I joined the BBC, and I was being a newsreader and continuity announcer. And I thought I was going to be a serious broadcaster. I really thought I was going to do news and current affairs and be hard hitting and be the next Robin Day at the time. Uh, and then I went on air a few times, did a couple of shows, and people said to me. You're not a serious person. <laughs> Nobody's going to take you seriously. Do something else. So I started doing music programs, and uh, I really, of course, I was really into music, and particularly soul music. I love my soul music. Any soul fans here? Of course. Of course, Motown. Motown. Yeah, Motown, stuff like that. I absolutely love. But when you're on the radio, you're, you've got to play music that everybody has some input to everybody likes to some extent so you don't just play the stuff you do like yourself you play the stuff that other people like and that way you get a lovely station like greatest hits radio Yay! right right um so rachel has asked who is the best person you have ever interviewed <laughs> saving blushes <laughs> yeah <laughs> no. Uh, it, uh, lots of lovely people, and some of the memories are, are great people. Uh, I mean, it's partly it's my age and my music tastes, but it was wonderful to sit with, in the studio with Carol King uh, at the piano, uh, and she just, uh, you know, I asked her some questions. She said, well, yeah, and she said, of course, writing this song, and she goes, ding -ling -ling, and all the songs that she has written from, it might as well rain until September, right the way through Tapestry and all that. Just a fantastic artist, a nice, nice person to talk to. Uh, and similarly, James Taylor. Uh, he came in one day a few years ago and uh, somebody had told him it was my birthday. And uh, when he was starting to play one of his songs, he just picked out uh, the first eight bars of Happy Birthday to You on his guitar. And I thought, well, you know, I might as well keel over now. This is nothing, nothing is going to be this. But uh, more recently, uh, it was lovely to meet Harry Hill. I've been a fantastic fan of Harry's for years. Uh, and he came in with a nice chat, you know, and uh, at the end of it, every interview, we always take a picture for social media and we stood next to each other. Uh, and I said, uh, oh, you know, looking like this, we could be brothers here, couldn't we? And he <laughs> laughed politely. And then two weeks later, he put the picture up on his social media feed uh, and the caption underneath read, Happy Father's Day. <laughs> He's a lovely man, though. He's oh, yeah, a lovely, great guy. Lovely. Very, very yeah, funny guy. Yeah. Right, from uh, Tom, this one is, what research did, and background did you have to do to play the craze? Oh, the craze. Um, we did a lot. A real lot. We we were kind of uh, the the movie when the idea came around. Actually, the uh, the original uh, rights to that movie was owned by Roger Daltrey from the Who that we were talking about earlier. Uh, so we had to uh, his rights ran out, and so we got them. But it, the movie never happened for a couple of years because it was trying to be stopped by the government. They they didn't want the movie made. So um, it was even spoken about in the House of Commons the day before we were starting to shoot because uh, they were saying it's not a great idea to glamorise the craziness. So, but anyway, we, we so for some reason or another, we're, it was about two years bef before I knew that I was making it to the time that we started shooting. So we did all of the um, background research, uh, and one include, included going into Broadmoor and sitting down with Ronnie and talking about murder which was the strangest conversation I've ever had in my life and uh, he said yeah ask me anything so we thought okay me and Gary were there we said okay what happened you know with this with that and he was open as anything uh, it was made even more odd because as I was talking to Ronnie he, really, he was explaining talking to me about murder and who he wanted to kill and who he didn't kill and who he was going to kill when he got out <laughs> I looked over my shoulder and, and there was the Yorkshire Ripper and I thought what am I doing and it was even more strange than that because that in the morning I'd just done Saturday morning Superstore <laughs> which <laughs> which was really strange but it was um, it was one of the things I'm most proud of in my life, 
making because I think the film stands up even today um, and I know that uh, a lot of people have got a lot of enjoyment from it and it's uh, it was a strange time for me and Gary because uh, I remember the first time I ever heard the name the Cray, the Cray Twins I was uh, there used to be a pub next door to my house in Islington where we used to live and my mum and dad would always go into the pub on a summer's night and uh, me and Gary would be sitting on the step outside with a bag of crisps and a bottle of coke and uh, I would remember clearly one night uh, somebody going in saying oh we better go soon because the Cray Twins are coming and that was the first time I ever ever heard that name and to end up making that movie was uh, it was a thrill to be honest and it was felt like to me it was a responsibility to get the story kind of right um, if you ask me what were they like, they were a little bit like, um, you know when you meet a friend of, that you know and they've got, they're holding the lead to a vicious dog and you go, that's a lovely dog <laughs> and you don't really mean it <laughs> uh, and that's what they were like. Yeah, um, right. Well, I think, well, uh, yeah, it's certainly you than me. So, I think we've got time for one... So, we've been to see Ken Bruce and Mike Ken. We have. Very yes. interesting. Standing room moment. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and very hot. And very hot. Yes. And then we're going to have a little walk around. Don't know how this is going to turn out. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. There we go. Maybe any part of this There you go. You, you photo Bob. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to have a walk around. We're going to discover with you. Um, we know bits of shit now, but we haven't really been round every nook and cranny, so we will see how this turns out. Uh, I warn you now, maybe rubbish, but hey, <laughs> there you go. We're doing what we do. Right, catch you in a minute. I'm answering the question, and I think it's true. Right, you can't see this, but there's, there's something on the board. <laughs> what I was going to say... <laughs> Sorry, I was correct, by the way. <laughs> okay. What I was going to say is, pre-warning now, we're going up to deck 14. There is no 13, obviously for superstition reasons. Um, but we're going up to 14. The only way you can get to 14 is through the front of the ship. So, if you go to the back of the ship and you're going, well, the lift, when you go to 12, this is why. It's the full nose on the front. That's where 14 is. Now you know. There you know. <laughs> right, so here we are, the observatory, deck 14. Let's go and have a walk through the doors. <laughs> yes, it's going to be very busy tonight. Yeah. Yes, we're going to come very early to get a <laughs> I see. I see. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, middle of nowhere. Lovely. Yeah, a lot of people say this is the place to come in the daytime, it's quite quiet. Um, we have struggled a little bit getting drinks in the daytime. Um, doesn't seem to be that many waiters around in the daytime, more at night. But yeah, we went into the um, botanical gardens earlier and really struggled it doesn't seem to be the case in there right so deck 14 we'll have a quick walk outside watch all the people running around the track and take a look out at sea yeah
Oh, some brave people in the pool. Oh my god. <laughs> There you go, that's our view today. <laughs> Not like when we go on the med trips. No. <laughs> it's a bit grey. It's a bit fresh. <laughs> it's not freezing cold though, is it? No. No, it's it's okay. It's cool, but it's not freezing, no. And considering it's late October. <laughs> so yeah, I would say when the summer weather comes along, this is quite a nice area to be. Very well laid out. So you've got the pool there, you've got the pool that's drained at the moment, this end. Uh, the poolside bar, which isn't open. <laughs> again, yeah, nice little area. Fancy a game of table tennis? <laughs> There's your place. Apparently, this is the way to the active studio. Mm. Whoa! Whoa, that's fresh. <laughs> that's the North Sea. <laughs> that's fresh. <laughs> We've got a windbreak now. Oh, right. I'm not sure it's. I'm not sure it's going to do very much. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> there you go, Deb. Which which is the answer this time? I can't see the question. It's too far away. <laughs> right, let's go down one. Oh dear. Down to level twelve. So as all ships, you've got all your levels there and what's on them. And also, on every deck as well, you've got your deck plan. So easy to follow and everything's pretty much laid out. So on this deck, which we're on deck 12 at the moment, Sea and Grass, which I believe is one of the paid restaurants. Surf and Turf. No, Sea and Grass. But it is Surf and Turf. <laughs> it's Surf and Turf on Morelli, yeah. But uh, let's just stick our nose in quickly. There you go. Nice little area. Very pretty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the sort of place you could just come and relax on an evening and take take it easy with your meal. Yeah. <laughs> right, moving on. So there you go. Just give you a quick look at the uh, the menu there. Hope you can see it. And for our particular cruise. The opening times. So obviously we go out into the pool deck, the area we just looked into. There you have the coffee sewing, isn't it? I forgot what it's called there. What is that one there? What's it called? I forget. Coffee the coffee house. There you go. <laughs> There you go, if you fancy a dip in the North Sea, <laughs> one person's doing it, hats off to them. But I don't think that's for us today. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe if it's like um, the Discoveries, we well, had the inside oh, pool. The inside pool, yeah. <laughs> but they were nice. always cold as well. Yeah, the water was always cold, wasn't mm. it? So, out on the pool deck you have a pool bar, but strangely enough, it's closed. Which, on Morella, it seems to be open most of the day. So there's, there seems to be subtle differences, as there is with all ships. But I am surprised that the pool deck bar isn't open. Especially as we're at sea and we can't go anywhere else. Yeah.
We can get an ice cream down. Oh, no, you can't. And that's There you go, just been in the Borough Market, had a walkthrough. Everything you want to get in there, I mean there's everything for all occasions, including vegetarian people. And just outside, got the Alfresco Grill, where you can get pizza. So Deb's happy. <laughs> I was just looking to see what they do, but it's a perfect outside grill. So you've got two different pizzas, hamburger, hot dog and fries. Perfect. That could do with being open on an evening. Yes. For your late night buffet, which we don't have. <laughs> There you go, you can see the questions now. Ooh, the bottom stripe on the flag of the USA is white. Is that true or false? False. I just thought it was blue, yeah. So false. Are we going to be right? That we're right? Hey, we got a question right. Hey, go Doesn't worse. That not <laughs> <laughs> right, so, again, we're on deck 12. We're on deck 12, are we? Yes, we're on deck 12. Yeah. Losing track now. Just uh, it is a nice ship and it is a big area. But it's obviously when you're in the North Sea, you don't really need sunbathing areas. <laughs> so at least you can get a sunbed today. Ain't no sun, but you can get a sunbed. <laughs> I think we're all past. <laughs> so heading on to deck 11. What we got here? Again, this is an experience for us as well as you. So. Yes, we have the conference room. Don't know what that is. Don't think we've found that yet. No. Um, the hot tubs, which we, I know we haven't found yet, so that'll be interesting. No. Right, let's see if we can find our way around and uh, find what we're looking for. The uh, rest of it, I believe, is just cabins. So not much to see on this deck. Right, we're going to use the Tristy maps. We are here. Where do we want to be? We want to be... Yeah, so that's conference rooms up there. And the hot tubs down the other side, don't they? Don't. Oh yeah, right at the back. Hot tubs. Ah, oh, right. oh, they're the ones outside. I know about those ones. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. So um, okay. the conference room. I don't think we're going to be going to because wow. Well, well, it must only be just there. We could have a nice. Do people want to see it? I don't know. Well, let's go and find out. So it says here number ten conference room, but it's through there. Um, crew only. 
ten conference room. It's through there, so you can't go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hot tubs it is then. <laughs> right now we've got to go all the way to the back of the ship. Yeah, all the way down. There. Right, off you go then. We're getting our steps in today. Yeah, how many have we done so far? What have you done? Three, four. Oh, 3,000 steps. We're doing all right. How many have you done? Three, four. So we're almost at the end of the never-ending car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no point me singing. <laughs> so we're going to try and find the hot tubs. I've seen them on videos before. There's two outside ones. So uh, hopefully there's nobody in them. And we can uh, get a quick video of them. So here we are, deck 11 hot tubs. It's raining. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> Perfect time to be in a hot tub then, really. Yeah. I'm gonna to have to test the water. Is it warm enough? All the big old hot tubs. Mmm. <laughs> warm. <laughs> they're warm. <laughs> Not hot hot tub, but the warm warm tubs. Oh right, the guy just said it's alright until we get out. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Bless okay. him. Right, down? Um, yeah, we could go down. Yeah, let's go down on the outside deck. I believe, is that the promenade deck? Oh, right, no. it's a windy deck. That's, they're very nice uh, sunbeds if you're... Mm. Yeah, they've got some really nice sunbeds. Let me get out of the way because I bet you can't hear a word we're saying. <laughs> oh, right, let's shelter under here. <sighs> right, that's it, that's better. But it does warm you. Look. Yeah, it's strong a little winds. strong winds. Yeah, you're not, it is. you're not kidding. It has some strong winds. But I'm going to go to the edge. You might not hear me, but I would say a perfect place to look at the world go by. here as well but the theme the consulate bar which is closed <laughs> I see a theme developing I can understand this one being closed to be fair <laughs> we can't knock them for that right let's head back inside again right mind the steps on these we've got some big old steps there look you have to go up and down and the doors are quite heavy so be very careful when you're here Ooh, and they shot like quite that. loudly as well, so if you're in one of these cabins, I do apologise. Right, let's have a walk down the never-ending corridor and see what we can find. Oh, this is our. Down one, yeah, this is this is this our. Is this, this is, is where we are. This is our deck. So, I know for a fact it's just cabins down here, so deck 10 might not hold any secrets, but let's have a look at the map and see what we can find. So, we've seen the consulate bar already, that was the one outside which is closed. The laundry is virtually right next to us, so you've, you've got your self-service laundry there if you want to wash a few clothes or if you want to um, press a few shirts or something. Um, at the front we've got the viewing area, so I might have a, a quick look at that. So, we're going to have a quick look at the laundry, show you that. Because it is quite impressive, to be honest. It's a big old room and it's got a lot of resource in there. So I know nobody wants to do any kind of washing or laundry, you know, whether it's a fortnight than a week. Some of these cruises are 28, 30 yeah, plus that days, is, yeah. so you're going to need to use it. Um, so we'll stick ahead in there, give you a view of it. So here we are. So, as I said, you've got a lot of resources. So, if you need a washing machine, well, you've got a washing machine. They are coin operated. I don't know how much they are. Does it say the prices? Is it up there? We'll it's try. Pound coins are available. Yeah. Looking at the sliders, I mean you've got you've got different options. What's that one there? Does that does that tell you anything about it? What? Anyway, it's coin operated. <laughs> we don't know how much it is. Oh, I tell a lie. Here you go. Here's exactly how much it is. So three coins, so three pounds for your washing, three pounds for your drying. Um, there you go. Quite decent charges, I feel. Yeah, not yeah, bad. Not bad. 
and obviously you just kick it off and um, let it go. And uh, yeah, and then you've got your ironing boards. And looking at these, don't think you have to pay for them. I think these are free. So if I want to iron my shirt or something later, yeah, pretty good. So there you go. That's the laundry. And you can access this from both sides. And oh, yeah. And you've got distilled water up there for the irons as well. So they even provide that for you. Wow. Perfect. Right, let's head up to the front of the ship, look at the viewing gallery or whatever it is, and uh, oh, mind the step, big step there. And then we'll probably skip deck nine. Well, we will skip deck nine because that's just cabins. No cabins. Nothing to see there. And then head down to eight. I think somebody's brought the Halloween on board. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there we go. A nice little viewing area. With a pool. <laughs> I think the pool's for the staff, not yes, for us. Not for us. No. Yeah. They need their relaxation too. There you go. That's the view from the office today. So, next step off, deck eight, where there's an awful lot going on. Cabins. So you got the cabins. Loos. Just importantly, the loos. <laughs> Library. Mm -hmm. Palladium. The partnership the lounge. lounge. And the pub. Yeah. Right. Of course. So we'll walk around them. Okie okay, dokie, okay, let's go. All right, which way are we going first? Let's try the Palladium because that should be empty now and it was yeah. very full earlier when we uh, we saw Martin Kemp and Ken Bruce. Video before this obviously. <laughs> but yeah, when it's empty it's a completely different Ooh. ambience. Oh, got chandeliers. No, that's obviously preparing for the show tonight. Okay. So this is obviously the upper level and when we go down the deck we'll get to the lower level. So this is the partnership lounge and no idea what it is. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, just, the corner, so we're just doing YouTube, so please forgive us. <laughs> it's different. Different? Oh god, you can't find one of those in the rest of the bars. <laughs> So I guess this is just a bit of a chill air area, but it's got all kinds of bits and bobs, like, ah, um, oh, a dolphin, schools of dolphins. Right, there's a killer whale under here. Okay. Oh, and they're collecting. Oh, and right. the orcas. Oh, that's nice. I'll, just, I'll take it orca as a charity. Yeah. Mm. Oh. So there's all sorts of information about the whales, the ship and the team, Ocean Watch, all things I know very little about, so I'm not even going to no. try to, to waffle my way through them. No. But yeah, okay. we always look when we're on the ship, don't we, to see if we see any um, whales or dolphins. Yeah, you very we've rarely see dolphins yeah. and turtles. We've seen. You might see whales in the North Sea, but I can't imagine you'll see much else. No. But yeah, so it's, it's an interesting area. It's a little random, but I suppose if you want to just come and have a chat, the acoustics are a bit echoey, but... <laughs> yeah, or if you just want a seat when it's really busy, mm. here's your place. Yeah, it's just a bit of a chill out area, really. Mm. Okay, glad we stumbled across it, really. Okay, the next thing we stumbled across, oh, toilets, yes, more importantly the toilets, because You've got to know where the toilets are on the ship because sometimes they're not in the places you think they are. So yeah, purple turtle. Next port of call. Let's do it.
Deb's interested. I found the cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the purple turtle. Gets really busy in there and you struggle to get a seat um, and probably struggle as much to get a drink as well. Right, um, where are we going next? What is there? Library, we haven't seen the library. Uh, we walked past it, didn't we? But, did, yeah. yeah. Not today. No. Let's, uh, let's keep going then. Let's have a look at Bronte's library. We passed it when we come out the Palladium. It's the other end. Ah, okay. Maybe we won't then. And further down that end it is nothing but cabins, so we don't need to go any further. Okay. That's a bit like the IE. The cabins used to come out onto the pub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. we were on that deck once. Yeah, so deck, was deck seven, yeah. So anybody that remembers the old island escape, yeah. You'll know what we're talking about. <laughs> if you don't remember or had any connection with the Iron Escape, you'll have no idea what we're on about because it long since has been razor blades. <laughs> there you go. Just walking through the camera. Yeah, you know, I'm a professional Sorry. YouTuber here. <laughs> there you go. There's the uh, the quote. I don't want to disturb people because it's a quiet area. There you go. Bronte's library. Oh, there is a few people about. So it would be very, very quiet. So of course very similar to the Morella ships, you've got screens all over the place. And there you go, usual sort of layout, so you've got the ship at the top, layer to the floor you're on and you can obviously change the floor view as well. What's on and your destination experience itinerary, everywhere you can see what's on here, everything's on here. Um, what I am going to try, bars and restaurants, now let me go back. Oh, when you do this on your app, especially the dining ones, you press on the menus. Ah, on these it works a lot better. When you do this on your phone, you have to download the file and try and open it up, and it's not easy. But on here, it works a lot better. But my, um, my question is, so dinner menu, to me that's evening. Lunch menu. So, lunch uh, menu yeah. is that, lunch menu, view dinner menu, lunch menu. <laughs> so I think all the menus are the same in the Borough Market, but that's going to be where we're going tonight anyway. Yeah. Right then, deck seven. I know for a fact we've got the bottom part of the Palladium here. Uh, you've got the Buckingham restaurant, Chef's Table, which is, I think that's in the Buckingham as well. SW19, which is a bar that, well, it was closed earlier, so we'll see if that's open now. Chef's Table is um, a paying restaurant. Ah, right. Yeah. Yeah, and Raffles Bar as well, which, which is a nice little area, actually. It so, is. right, yeah. let's, let's head over to the Palladium first and um, go from there. Yeah, he's my Ooh, wow. I'm gonna stick my nose in, probably shouldn't. But we'll keep very, very quiet. Because they are setting up and rehearsing for later. There you go, this is the bottom tier of the Palladium. Quite spacious, but um, yeah, as you saw earlier from the video with Martin Kemp and Ken Bruce on stage, absolutely rammed, standing room only. So although it's a, it's a fair size, I think the ship this week is full to capacity and um, there's a lot of places where we're struggling to find a seat. Right, so we're heading through to obviously the shops which are open because we're at sea at the moment. Um, 
yeah, the shop seemed pretty well stocked. We was looking at the alcohol, as you do, uh, yesterday, and there seemed to be some pretty good deals on. Uh, was it two for £12? Two for 25 Oh, two so for 25 mm. So yeah, seems some good deals on here. And it's a nice little area to chill out as well. Um, the bar is closed at the moment. Um, again, it's the daytime we're at sea. Obviously, they're gearing up for more nighttime activities. But um, yeah, it just seems, I don't know, a lot of bars seem closed. I don't know whether I'm just noticing them or whether it's it's just on the ship. But um, again, there are bars open, so it's, it's not a showstopper. It's just an observation. And it's all our opinion, as everything is. Take it or leave it. Most people leave it, and I don't blame them, to be honest. <laughs> And we've got some final clearances. We didn't need to bring any woolies, look. No, we could have, some could have bought some. Of <laughs> <laughs> All right, onwards. More, more toilets. You'll see a lot of the spa stuff all over the place, uh, as on all ships. They're trying to push that. Um, but yeah, this is the botanical lounge where we went earlier. Um, personal experience. Struggled to get a drink, went to the bar, was told to sit down, and then everybody started going to the bar and all the waiters jumped behind the bar. So there you go, just stick my nose in quickly. So yeah, that area is open all day long, which is why people go there obviously to get a drink, but yeah, it's a real problem to get a drink there for us. Ooh. Yeah, if you want a singing lesson, there you go. There's the place to come. Raffles Bar. Okay, happy basis? Yep. Tell us only from about 20. And then as we get to about 26, the last hallelujah, please go up, joining Sopranos in two. Yeah. So that is a, um, <laughs> he's still going. <laughs> That's an unusual one. Oh, I've never seen singing lessons on a ship before. That's a so yeah, that's a new experience for us. <sighs> Excellent. Ship's rocking a little bit now. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of movement. Yeah, you could say we're going to get two meter swells, but uh, the ship handles it really well, to be honest. For an old ship, um, we haven't really felt any movement or any problems at all. Right, and then we're at the aft of the ship. You've got to be careful how you say that. And we're at the Buckingham, which I believe at the moment, yeah, it's all going to be pretty much closed off. But um, we'll, just, we'll just get our nose in, just get our nose in quickly. But yeah, it is lunchtime, so I am not going to walk through there when people are eating their lunch. But that's the Buckingham. Right, so that is seven we're on at the moment. We're going to head down now to six where there's more shopping. <laughs> more shop, more shopping. Who's going to drag me around there later, I wonder? <laughs> oh, innocent. So, what we're going to try and find first of all is aces and eights. It doesn't ring a bell, we may have found it already, but, and Kapoor's as well. Got a feeling they're, like you say, paid restaurants. But, um, yeah, going to find them. They're um, apparently. Aces and eights, I would have thought, was a games room. You could be right. We're going to find out. Again, apologise for people that are watching this and thinking they don't know anything about no, this. We, we don't. don't. We <laughs> as we go this is our first time on this ship and we haven't got a clue. So, we're doing what you would do. Having to walk around, trying to get your bearings, trying to find things. Oh, one thing I did meant to mention, um, and if we pass a cabin, I'll point it out. We were saying earlier that we couldn't find any information. Ah. So, your information gets put outside your door each night. So, not, uh, not under not your under door. Your door. Like we we, we <laughs> were used to Morella and they used to put it under your door or leave it on your bed. But no, here, it's left outside your cabin. Yeah. So if like us, you're going, huh, we don't know what's going on. Well, we don't know what's going on, we but, don't, but yeah. <laughs> if you want, we want a better idea of what's going on, that's outside your cabin and that's left there. So we found something. Is this what we're looking for? And I still haven't found. I've got to stop singing. Oh, toilet's up here. 
Okay, this, I guess, must be Aces and Eights then. I didn't see any signs on the door. It's, um, not, it's a card room, isn't it? Yeah. Where you come to play cards. But again, oh, if you, in the corner. Again, if you just want to chill out, probably not a bad place just to plunk your butt down for a little while. And if you really like Lego, and not the Lego movie, real Lego, Arr. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Somebody's been busy with the bricks. Good grief. Yeah, that's, um, that's amazing, isn't it? That's a lot of bricks. That's a lot of bricks. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch it. But it is, it's proper little tiny two piece Lego bricks. Yeah, it is, yeah. If we scan in a bit, you can see Good it is great. actually Lego and I'm going to be horrible. No, no, I think they're glued. I think they're glued. No, I'm not going to break it. But um, wow. yeah, it is actually Lego bricks. Somebody's Stunning. actually, yeah, somebody's actually put those together. And yeah. even the map. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the time it must have took to put that together. Oh, we went to London once, didn't we, to look at Lego? No, Bournemouth to look at Lego many years ago when Nathan was a small Nathan boy. Was yeah, yeah. yeah, his auntie took him there, and um, that's amazing. It really was. So there you go, aces and eights on, oh, we're on deck six, aren't we? Yeah. Mm. Alright, so we head that. That's nobody here. Did want just quiet, can read. Mm. Yeah, and it's quite cool in here, and it's, yeah, it's, it's very peaceful. Yeah. All right, so we're going to head out, and what else are we looking for? I forget there, chowders or something, wasn't it? No, it wasn't called that. Was it Kapoor's? Kapoor's. That was close. There was a C in it. Okay. <laughs> it's the county, <laughs> You're in dyslexia. Oh. I'm not allowed to say that. No. I'm offended. I'm offended. <laughs> right, so upper level shopping, just off the centre court. Oh, hold on, I'm being called. I'm just going to. Anybody who's got vertigo, look away now. There you go. And the casino is just there. But apparently, Deb's calling me. What? What's up, Deb? Ah, there's the sign. Yeah. <laughs> see it up there. Ah, so why. Aha, right. What's Kapoor's then? Oh, arts and crafts. Oh, I thought it was a restaurant. Just goes to show. Okay. Let's go stick our nose in then. Oh, I've got lots of awards. Look at this. Very impressive. <laughs> you wish. I mean the ship or the line. What did you think I mean? Me? My award stopped years ago. Look at that lot. Very impressive. Right, let's go and have a look what Kapoor's has to offer then. Let's hope there's nobody in here. Again, looks very quiet. Okay. I get it, and I guess they have lectures and things in here and they do craft sessions and workshops and things like that. But it's a lot of space again. Yeah. And a lot of I space that... that it was an Indian yeah, it's a lot of space that, to be honest, is a bit of a... I wouldn't say a dumping ground, because that's not fair, but... Yeah, it's a bit... Oh, I found the Christmas decorations. <laughs> That's it. How are you going to put that bauble on the tree? Wow. They're coming home in my luggage. <laughs> yeah, I wow. bet they're not. But yeah, I kind of get the area, but again, I don't get the area. Oh well, it is what it is. That's kind of a wasted room, isn't it? It says arts and crafts, doesn't it? It is an arts and crafts room. Like I say, I bet they give seminars and demonstrations oh, and yeah, things. Yeah, I bet they do. Oh, but okay. Yeah, it's, it's just, I don't know, there's some strange areas when you start wandering around. And this is why we like these ship tours, because we just stumble on things. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, before I got so rudely Sorry. interrupted, <laughs> um, we're going to head the other side now. So the casino was on the opposite side, and I'll pan across to that in a minute. And again, those who got vertigo, look away in a minute, because I'm going to stick your nose down the bottom. 
so yeah casino over there we'll have a little walk around there and just stick our nose in and on this side a little bit more shopping ah we'll walk past that one because Deb will be spending oh, some sort of demonstration going on in there as well mm. right, obviously something we don't go big on in the UK but a little casino for you oh they have got the is it crap stables there there so we're about at the end of the deck on deck six at the moment yes no i think we've seen everything on here we did yeah. get turfed out of the casino because apparently you can't video people spending money even though there was nobody was empty, in there spending yeah. money but we'll respect that yeah, absolutely. um i won't show it much <laughs> and yeah hmm. so deck five so more cabins center court yeah which is what, we, just where what we just looked is, over yeah. yeah destination experience dickens mm -hmm. that's, a coffee that's the layout, coffee shop yeah it? location where we got on yeah future cruise reception and shop exactly so we'll go down one and we'll have a look through there we've seen a lot of it already because i just stuck your nose down and, and again those with vertigo i did uh, did pre-warn you <laughs> so we'll head down just scan around the area hopefully we can video that one i'm being facetious now aren't you I? are <laughs> yeah i get it at night and there are people that are spending money that's fine hmm. but it was empty but if there's people there spending money I wouldn't have gone in no, exactly. but um, anyway well, it is what it is it is what it is yeah obviously there are rules and regulations doesn't mean you have to abide to them but there are them right so there you go Dest uh, destination services all your what's the word I'm looking for reception. reception basically yeah they call it fancy titles now but it's reception and the center court which we looked down on a little while ago your Dickens coffee shop is over there. I'm not sure if you have to pay for that one or not. I've got a feeling if you've got certain packages that we have, the expedition package, you're okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, a nice little area just to chill out and relax. That's destination experiences, just that. Oh, yeah. Storage. Yeah, destination experience over there. Yep. Yeah, as it says on the sign. Yeah. And this is obviously the reception area. And future cruises, apparently, too. I mean, shop mm, which is closed but yeah i've got a pandora shop last night, yeah mm. so that's deck five we just walked out of hopefully you'll never need it but just in case we're gonna have a quick walk down one level to the medical center we obviously won't go in because that would be silly <laughs> but uh just in case you need to know where it is we'll find it There it is. And that's it. I think we've just about done everything around the ship. So if you stuck it out for this long, thanks for watching. <laughs> it's not the end of the video, obviously, because we've got the nighttime activities what we're going to tag on soon. But um, yeah, it was an experience for us and hopefully an experience for you. Right, so a little bonus, somewhere we won't be going. <laughs> Fitness centre. And there are people using it. There are people using it, so we're not going to stick our nose in. But um, yeah, you've got everything in there, rowing machines, exercise bikes, treadmills, all the usual stuff. You never know, it could be Kate Daunton. <laughs> Who knows? Well, there you go. Oh. That's where you come when you want some exercise. And I think on this level as well, we've got some spas. Have a look. So have a look. Here? I have no idea. Oh, crew only. Oh, <laughs> so it's definitely not in there. No, it's right, let's have a wander. Let's have a wander around. after a ship's tour gotta have a drink
Well, after a beer, you've got to have pizza and chips. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> this is lunch. This is lunch. Yeah. Correct. Oh dear. First time we used the shower and uh, we seem to have um, quite a lot of residual water. Hmm, <coughs> old chip I guess. Bad plumbing. Oh well, <laughs> something to watch out for. So, it's the Borough Market tonight. It is. Yeah, you've got lamb, yeah. Hot lamb. Yeah, roast potatoes. I've got beef in a Diane sauce. They were serving it with chips, which I'm not sure about. <laughs> I did seem to be in the mashed potato, but I've got some um, that, <laughs> whatever it is. But mm, looks alright. Looks nice. We shall see what it tastes like. Hello. Hello. Finally got some drinks. Finally. What a palaver. Mr. Bean is out. Ridiculous. Two barmen at the beginning, and then one barman was walking around with one serving each time. One drink at a time. One drink at a time. Oh, God, it's ridiculous. Just... Yeah. It doesn't seem to be any stranger. It's a fact that this bar is um, yeah. them working. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the bar manager came through and he went, oh, this looks a bit tricky. So yeah, off and he, he went. cleared off again. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. But, hang on. So, we have got seats and are waiting for Martin Kemp to do a DJ set. It's already round and we've got another couple of hours to go yet before he gets here and it's round. We weren't going to stay, we came for a drink. We're going to go and see the show then come back. No chance. like the craze he also was featured on one of our biggest soaps and was on some of the biggest storylines in eastenders you've seen him on the telly you've seen him in the films and most of all recently you'll have heard him every week on greatest hits radio please welcome to the stage the one the only it's martin kemp
Well, there you go. <laughs> it oh is. Oh my goodness. What is? Um, five to two. No, it's not. It's five it to three. It's five to two. So, there was a night. That was a heck of a night. That was brilliant. Yeah, so second night, mine came with the DJ set and then run away from And then run away. <laughs> yeah, why? Yeah, if you, if you he thought was there was... loved. Everybody loved him. Yeah, but why run away? You thought they stuck around and you know, mingled, yeah. but yeah. yeah, hey ho. So she's like, but we had a good time anyway. We had a really good time. Yes, we had uh, a little to drink, as you uh, as you may notice. But that's what you <laughs> do on cruises, because yeah. that's that's what we're here for. Drink yeah. the bar dry. <laughs> They're not very good at remembering what you drink on here, though. No, the bar Whereas stuff. Whereas umbrella. Mm. Bar staff are um, pretty dire, to be honest. It I mean, took us over an hour to get our first drink up there. Yeah, we did get uh, quite a few bar staff added after the event. But, after um, the event, yeah. Yeah, but oh god, the first hour was painful. It really oh, was. It was awful. But <laughs> there you go. But uh, hey ho. I just don't yeah. think they were, uh, they were expecting so much of a rush. But everybody went up to the atrium, you know, two or three hours ahead, yeah. to watch the Martin Kemp set. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and he they, was he was good. He yeah, was very good. They were just um, they weren't prepared for it. No. Uh, anyway, we've had plenty of drinks. So but we don't care. Yeah. We had a seat so. and we had a good time. And exactly. we were sat with some really nice people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's um, I don't know bizarre shit. This. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. We we kind of figure at the moment it's not quite as good as Morella. No. No. For me personally doesn't add up to Morella. No. But the management side of it, not so good. No. But, but it's early days, you yeah. never know, they might catch up. And it feels like they're being sort of kept on the skeleton and stuff at the moment. I'm not sure if it's a changeover or whether it's because they've done a lot of cruising this year, but it just feels like... Or it's the end of the season, I mean, it's the end of October. It is, and that's what I'm wondering. There seems to be not a lot of staff. No. And not a lot of management. But this cruise is completely sold out. Yes. Completely. And I think it caught me by surprise. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so there you go. But um, yeah, it. Um, I mean, we've not seen entertainment. Well, we've seen the entertainment manager, but we've not seen like the cruise. Um, sorry, we've seen the cruise director. We haven't seen the assistant cruise director and like the bar manager and oh. the venue manager and stuff like that as Marilla have. Um, seen anybody? No. It, it's. Uh, stop. We've gone too far. Have you? Well, it's because you're talking. Right. <laughs> we need to reverse. Go back that way. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> <laughs> we did that earlier. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, we'll catch you in a minute in the cabin. We don't know what we're doing. There you go. We're back at the cabin. <laughs> we, yeah, we weren't far away. No, we weren't we? far away. No. No. We need to look for the laundry each time. So, um, where was we? I forget. Yeah, it just seems the, the ship has been run on a, a bit of a skeleton and stuff at the moment. I could be wrong, but um, yeah, you seem to want for drinks. Yeah. Everywhere we've been, the botanical gardens, um, raffles, yeah. places like that. It, yeah. It seems to be a problem getting a drink. Um, not sure if that's normal or whether that's just this cruise. If you know, let us know. Exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not hating it, but yeah, just drinks are important <laughs> right now i wouldn't book again but there's time mm. like the ship the ship itself mm. ignoring the staff mm. and the way it's run is beautiful mm. beautiful ship yeah. Mm. yeah yeah and we've had no problems with the passage at all no. considering we're on the north sea you know it's been really smooth so no complaints there but um, yeah just the yeah, it's I don't just, know the management of it. Maybe we're wrong, but yeah, at the moment it just, just feels lost. like yeah. There's no management. No, it's. Just, I had to join a queue uh, when we were up waiting for Martin Kemp for a drink. Oh, the queue was just enormous because mm. there was nobody going around taking orders, mm. which is normal. Yeah. So I joined a queue, and everybody was saying the same mm. that. It's not right. They're not very happy with it. So yeah. it isn't just us. Everybody no. was a bit and disappointed. I, I personally saw two bar managers who walked in, went, "Sod yeah. this," yeah. <laughs> and went again. Yeah. 
I um, don't know if they went to get staff because we did get some more staff after that. So maybe yeah. they were working on it. Just but, before um, Martin Kemp came on, there was yeah. more stuff. But they just, yeah. they just need to be called out by surprise. But the poor guy that was on the till was telling the waiters, go serve, go serve, go serve. Mm. And he was getting so angry and so upset. Yeah. But they were just hovering and meandering. Well, the guy serving was doing one drink at a time. One drink at a time. Yeah. What's that all about? Like yeah. Anyway. And <laughs> it was rammed. Everybody on oh. the ship was in the one place. Absolutely. They were queuing out the doors. Yeah. 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 You couldn't go to the toilet. You that was just a non-entity. You expected entity. it. Yeah, you expected yeah. it. I mean, he's a big name, Martin Kemp. Yeah. And he was brilliant. Yeah. He was brilliant. The weird yeah. thing is he ran away at the end. But he ran away at the end, yeah. What was that all about? Because the love in the room for him was amazing. Mm. And he finished his set, and before he, just as he finished his set, he started to edge out the room, and then he was surrounded by people, and whoosh, he'd yeah. gone. Yeah, and the two girls, I mean, Jenny and Kate, we haven't seen them at all. Not seen them They were supposed all. to go, well, they said they were coming up tonight. Yeah, Jenny Powell announced on the tannoy she was gonna be up there boogieing with everybody. Mm. We didn't see her. Didn't see him. Apparently, no. they've got a DJ set tomorrow as well. Oh, have they? Apparently, yeah. Oh, right. Apparently, they're doing the set tomorrow. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's. Um, I bet it won't be as packed as tonight. <laughs> Maybe not. Who knows? No, we're enjoying it. Don't get us wrong. But there's just it's just weird. Yeah. You expect it being the greatest hits radio show as such on sea. You would expect them to be walking around. I mean, we talked to so many people. We did the ship tour today didn't see any of them no. we talked to so many people never saw them yeah they're, they're just not it's as visible. Like they're hidden away yeah just not visible yeah, which is invisible which is mm. weird I, I know they can get mobbed and it's probably really annoying and everything else but mm. on a ship yeah well there's going to be people that want to shake their hands and get autographs stuff like that it can be annoying i understand that but mm. it, but to, isn't that part of their job well who knows this is our opinion. <laughs> yeah. You may think otherwise. Let us know. Mm, exactly. Yeah. Right. There anyway, we need to um, to get the togs yeah. off because um, yeah, it's been a long We're night. A, it, we've boogied all night yeah. and we are a bit sweaty, Betty. Mm, and I yeah. need a wee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they need to know that. <laughs> well, you know now. <laughs> right. <laughs> We'll catch you tomorrow. We're in Hamburg tomorrow, so. Um, oh, we are. Yeah, we'll have a walk around. Actually, Never been, have we? Well, actually, as. Um, as we came out of the disco tonight, we saw a few cranes and things, dock, docks. So yeah. we're obviously going down, is it the Elder River? River Elba. Mm, yeah. Elba, yeah. To get in. And apparently we've got quite a long sail down that to get into the slot we're going into. Yeah. And apparently we've got a really good slot, the captain was saying. So um, yeah, tomorrow. Watch this space. Yeah, it should be straight off the ship and then just something interesting. Yeah, fingers yeah. crossed Hamburg is nice and it's not raining. No, and it's different for us. Never done it. Yeah, never been. Yeah, and it's so. going to be... Yeah. Cold country rather than a warm country. We'll have a coat on. We've got coats, we've got uh, jumpers. Job yeah. done. Sorted. Right, say goodnight. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>